Hi John, welcome to the Theatre Arts Factory. Thank you very much. So we know that you bo were born in the island of Wight. Uh, can you tell us something about your childhood and uh, how you start to play guitar? I grew up on the Isle of Wight in the south of England and uh, my dad was in what's called the RAF, the army, over in the UK and he toured around and then we ended up on the Isle of Wight when I was about three and uh, my musical background is I started the piano when I was five um, and then started the guitar when I was eight and singing when I was twelve so wow. ever since then I've music's been a part of my life um, for the past couple of decades so, yeah. okay and nice been, so then you moved to London how when, when you moved to London and what how who where uh, I moved just over over the water to a place called Southampton in the south of England and I studied music there and I met my wife at Southampton and she she lived she she grew up in uh, in South London and so we were friends and then we got together uh, in our final year of university um, we both studied music and we finished and then um, then we moved up to South London uh, near near where she lives where she grew up and uh, then we started a family up in South London and wow, cool. so you know uh, yeah yeah cool so we heard your three albums and uh, we think your sound in some way evolved can uh, can you explain how, how and why you evolve in this direction? So the reason, I suppose, what the reason why I started off uh, this this particular sound is I used to go out as a, a singer songwriter, um, just strumming and singing, and it got to a point where I felt more like an entertainer than a musician. Uh, I didn't connect with my music, so I decided to take two years out of my musical career to um, learn about finger style and about you know different artists and things and um, from there it was blood sweat and tears learning different techniques and different things and so I developed Reborn after the first album my debut album it took me about four years to put together yeah. and from there it was almost kind of at the start of something and so I, I was able to find a sound and that I was I love and um, a majority of the tracks that I play live are from that album and then I then brought out an EP called Memento which was a covers EP and the third album was more as a collaboration with another finger style guitarist singer yeah. um, and uh, we're both like-minded musicians um, and uh, that and working with someone else it can enhance your playing. It, you, you learn off of every single musician uh, you collaborate with. And so the next release, which I'm, it's going to be my third, my second solo album, but my third album altogether, is it's taking a while, but it's something that I'm trying to develop and experiment more and try different things. And, uh, interesting. Um, yeah, and I think learning off of other musicians has helped me take it to another level. Um, but not another level of like technique, but just sort of the musicianship of it. Um, yeah. Because I saw it always with a first album, you kind of it's your it's your first time uh, putting something together, so you you're not always completely happy with what you end up releasing. Uh, so I think it's been about four or five years since I released Reborn, and uh, there are some things that I kind of wish I you know changed here and there. So I know what to do, what I want and what I don't want for the next album yeah. and things and uh, but I'm not, the good thing is this time I'm not rushing it. Did, um, did you find your style? Yeah, I think, uh, I mean, the way I got into fingerstyle was a bit, <laughs> was a bit different to other fingerstyle guitarists. They, uh, most musicians are influenced by other musicians. Yeah. And the way I did it was at university and um, I got an old acoustic guitar, I turned it over, I got a saw and I cut a, a hole at the back of a guitar and I got a snare drum from my best friend's drum kit and I put the snare drum in the back of the guitar thinking it was a great idea. Uh, and then I went again to do the performance 
I was playing and I turned the guitar over, went to go and hit the drum and all the clips that hold the snare, the, the, the skin the, 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 um, that holds up, that you hit the drum with, started pinging off wow. everywhere <laughs> uh, and the gig went very quickly downhill and uh, it, was, it was like a sink or swim, swim situation. I could either stop or I could learn from that lesson. And then I then started developing that sound from that experience. Yeah, so percussive started, style. Percussive style, trying to find out all the electronics behind it, all the gadget, all the yeah. pedals and things I needed, um, and just educate myself. Um, and there is a variety of guitar nights in, in England, and one specific is the London Guitar Night, which a good friend of mine, Chris Woods Groove, um, set up. And uh, I was able to play the first night, and that's been running for about four years. But it's it's like a group of fingerstyle guitarists, acoustic guitarists, come together. Yeah. And I, they have a different. Uh, uh, so every every month they have three different guitarists. So every month wow. I go there, and you'll be inspired every single month you come away from there. Um, and it's really inspired me ever since. And I've been able to go there, try out material, speak to other guitarists, and uh, so yeah, that's been a, uh, an amazing experience. Wow, so, interesting. Yeah. So, and uh, we know you made a, a tour in England with another big guitarist who performed at Red Theatre, Anneli Jamal. Mm -hmm. So, can uh, you tell us something about this experience? So, I, I only knew Manelli uh, through. Uh, YouTube, which I well, probably may may have been a similar experience right at the beginning, um, and I also knew that he was he had the same guitar make that I do, um, so I I just connected with him through through social media, and I said to him I saw he was on tour, and I think I saw it was the second time he was come to Red Theatre, and I and he had he he was going to take a two week holiday, but I said don't do that. <laughs> come, over to, come over to England and I'll plan a tour for you um, and so I've never I've never planned a tour before uh, and uh, it took it took a lot of work but it was it was an amazing experience and when he arrived in London um, I, pe I picked him up and then we drove up to Manchester which is a six-hour drive and that was the first time we got to know each other and uh, from there on you know we we were just learning about each other and we're, we're different uh, we although it's like finger style guitar solo guitar um, obviously I had singing with it so we're different musicians but we're in the, the same umbrella um, and just sharing you know sharing your experiences with someone like that um, who you know he, he's traveled the world he's toured the world he's 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 an incredible musician so uh, I was very honored to for him to come over and share that experience for 10 days I think it was so, yeah yeah that's great it was a big couple huh? big couple. Yeah, yeah yeah it was and we we I mean it was a lot of driving uh, I think it was like 1500 miles I think I drove all the in the end and but obviously and you share a car with talking someone. about guitar so, sure <laughs> guitar I mean life and I mean obviously um, I, I'm in a period of my life where I have children and things as well so as a musician, we were on slightly different levels in our life, um, but we shared the same passions of, you know, especially for creativity uh, and just our passion for music. Um, wow. And it was just fascinating to to not not just talk about guitar and music and things, but just um, but just like life in general. Yeah. And each other's history and yeah. how we got into playing guitar yeah, and yeah, yeah. sort of sharing each other's stories and things and from there I've been able to I've been influenced my, my guitar playing has been influenced ever since seeing Minnelli because wow, wow. I don't I didn't get to just see one show I got to see ten, ten shows yeah, yeah so by the tenth <laughs> show I I knew what what yeah, you know yeah. what he was playing you know what every he, song I knew what he was gonna say yeah, his dialogue yeah, yeah. and the way he presents and it's and those experiences are, are vital um, and I think every gig you play in uh, like sharing the experience with the sound guy with the organizer with, with, with everyone um, you can learn every single time so going on tour with another like-minded musician 
it just adds yeah adds to that experience so so yeah very interesting and you share this passion also with us because this yeah. community is so passionate about music and what do you think about our project very red theater project i I've, i've been you know i overwhelmed actually it's got it's, it's a really lovely experience i've kind of You, you, I mean, as musicians, sometimes we can go to lots of different uh, venues and things as well, and there we can sometimes only count on our hand ha where we feel at home in a place. And uh, this is the first time, you know, this is my first time in Italy yeah. for a while, and I already feel at home. I've only been here for yeah, thank you, you know, a few hours, and that in that environment is very important as for everybody really if they feel at home they can they bring the best out of themselves yeah 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 so the good thing is you're bringing the best out of every single person that comes <laughs> here so you're what you've developed in that sentence is you know it's 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 wonderful so thank you you know you see the photos online and things but actually when you come here um, you feel you can feel the energy well i didn't <laughs> i thought when we got here i thought we were going elsewhere i didn't realize it was like a bat cave, you know, underneath yeah. the house sort of <laughs> <laughs> experience. Uh, and it's I thought, yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. Um, but, and it was just lovely to come downstairs and then just see it. Like, I was, uh, I was so surprised. Uh, and to be coming here and playing um, and, and the sound check and everything as well. And this whole experience is, is wonderful. So, you know, so thank you so much. Thank you, thank you for coming and yeah. uh, have a good concert. I oh, would do.